SCP-104, Object Class Euclid, Special Containment Procedures. SCP-104 is currently contained in a steel box with electronic keypad access to access to be restricted to Class 3 or higher. Do not allow SCP-104 to come in contact with any living tissue. Any and all interactions with SCP-104 is to be handled via robotic assistance or with full hazmat suits and gloves. Even found to be imprinted by SCP-104 must submit for unimprinting. Failure to do so within 24 hours, exposure will result in termination. SCP-104 is a sphere, 35.5 centimeters, 14 inches around, and weighing 2.3 kilograms, 5 uh, pounds. The outside is glass and very smooth, coating the sphere in a layer of 6 millimeters, 0 0.2 inches thick. Under this layer, it is extremely intricate design of very thin black and white lines. This inner core is a delicately carved ball of wood, giving slight texture to line and design. The design itself is unimaginably complex and seems to form something of a roche chest, and all viewers seem to have different interpretation. Movement of a ticking sound from inside the sphere has been reported, but this time it is unconfirmed. Whenever a human touches SCP-104, it is unimprinted state. It will imprint on the subject. The imprinted subject moves more than 9 meters, 30 feet from SCP-104, or more than 5 minutes. SCP-104 will appear within 2 meters, 7 feet from the imprinted subject. The shift appears instantaneous, disappearing and reappearing in less than a nanosecond, regardless of distance and intervening objects. Every hour, the subject remains within 9 meters, 30 feet of the 104. It will move one foot closer to the subject until it is touching the subject. When SCP-104 is touching its imprinted subject, it will not attempt to move closer. SCP-104 will not exhibit this behavior to non-imprinted subjects and only imprint on one subject at a time. Thick cloth or metal may block the imprint in most cases. Testing of SCP-104 with multiple instances of SCP-1680 suggests that this imprinting is not genetically based. As SCP-104 does not change behaviors when faced with multiple genetically identical subjects. SCP-104 also appears to be indestructible in that it also appears whole and undamaged after reappearing. Even after being crushed or incinerated, SCP-104 will reappear whole and undamaged if its imprinted subject is outside its minimum range for more than five minutes. SCP-104 causes paranoia and anger in most subjects, but this is not an effect of the sphere, and some who hold the unaffected by the constant presence of SCP-104 are slightly annoyed at times. SCP-104 can only be unimprinted by the subject is killed or in its near-death state. SCP-104 will then enter its unimprinted state until touched. Thick gloves appear to block this imprinting process as long as there is more than 13 millimeters, 0.5 thick. SCP-104 was recovered in a flea market from a man carrying it in a bowling bag. The man has never identified itself and sold to Agent Redacted for quarter, thanking him profusely before running off. Notes 104-1108-R. It's been theorized that SCP-104 is some form of extra-dimensional probe or recording device. This appears to be unlikely as it appears that it is made of terrestrial materials and has no means by which to record or observe anything. However, the few other explanations of its body odd behavior, the theory is being investigated. Dr. Redacted.